Welcome to my hair tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to create the perfect summer back to school side braided ponytail with a swoop, all for under $20. This stylish budget friendly hairstyle is perfect for you. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be using my Bobby Boss Water Wave 10 inch um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use that for. And I'm also using my Gala Braid um, <laughs> braiding hair, um, which is one of my favorites. And it's uh, hyperallergenic and it doesn't destroy your hair. Um, as you guys can see, I'm going to be using my Neat Braid Gel. I'm going to use that for my roots. I'm going to straighten my roots. And it's going to make my hair straight and very soft. So you don't have this gel you should get it. It only costs seven dollars. I'm sorry, no, eight dollars. So if you're interested in buying, it's going to be eight dollars. So I'm going to use my wrap, my little scrunchie. Um, I'm putting my hair, wear my hair to the side, and I'm making sure that the back is completely um, straightened out. So this is the hard part for me is the swoop. So luckily I had some um, clips that um, I can use. So I'm just using that neat braid gel and I'm just going to swoop that swoop over. Now the neat, <laughs> the neat braid gel is fantastic. It doesn't irritate my skin. Um, it doesn't break my hair off and which I really do love and appreciate because mostly some gels do do that. But this neat braid gel, I love it. It works really good with my hair. And as you guys can see how smooth my hair already looks, I'm going to use my clip and I'm going to clip it down because I want my swoop to be perfect and very smooth. So I'm just making sure that the gel is holding it down in places. So once I do pin um, the piece of the swoop up, it doesn't budge, it doesn't buckle, it's just plain smooth. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna use my Basque and Ladder Edge Control, which is black owned. This is the best if you're natural or relaxed. This is one of the best edge controls I have ever used. Um, it has not breaking me out um now i do leave a little white residue but it depends on how much you put on so it's really good to just put a little bit like i'm doing so don't put a lot so if you don't want the flakiness to show so i'm just brushing that in and look how smooth and how flat my hair is i'm going to take my janet collection a comb which i'm just going to use to make my baby hairs and look how beautiful it goes just like that beautiful i didn't have to do nothing to it much i didn't have to tussle i mean it just moved by itself completely and i love this edge control basket leather black owned you guys can find it on amazon or tiktok and TikTok right now, they have no sale for $10.90 for back to school. So if you're interested, go to TikTok and go get that Baskin leather. Now, my Gala Braids, which is one of my favorite hair braids. Um, I'm going to um, loop it around at the uh, top of my ponytail at the base. And I'm just going to start braiding. As you guys can see, so you have a nice firm grip and take your time braiding so you guys can see. So I'm blending in with my hair as well. So you just have to take your time and blend out. Um, make sure that your hair is blended with the other hair. So as you guys can see, I'm um, braiding the hair. I'm so happy. I'm excited because I always wanted to do this look and I found the right braiding hair. And 
I'm just plaiting, well, braiding all the way towards the end. So I'm just taking my time because it's really important to take your time braiding because if not, you're going to have like buckles of hair out and it's not going to look good. It's going to be um, not neat, like a neat braid. So it's best to just take your time. I didn't put too much hair um, on this braid because I want it to look natural as possible. So I feel like I did really good of really doing this hair. Um, not putting too much to it. So right now I'm braiding all the way towards the end as you guys can see it. So this is like a very simple back to school look. I'm going to use my Brazilian Water Wave 10 inch. I'm going to crochet. I'm going to spray it with some apple cider vinegar because it won't irritate me. So I'm just going to take out like a small piece. And I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was like, okay, I, I looked on YouTube. So I'm just going to stick it through. So I'm supposed to close the latch first and then stick it through. And then the latch will open up and then I'll just put a little thin layer of hair between the loop on that hook. I mean on the hook and then once it comes through I'm going to unhook that crochet. And I'm going to pull the hair through this loop. It kind of got tangled. It's pretty, but I hate that the hair get tangled. This is my first time, so I'm just practicing. So I'm just going to um, knot it. So I'm just going to show you guys once again what I did. Bring it through the loop. See how easily it brought it through, and then I'm going to bring that other piece of the loose hair through that loop. Bring it through that loop, and then I'm just going to pull it through and tie it. And I felt so uncomfortable because it was so easy for me to do, it wasn't hard. Um, I just felt like it was the easy task, and I did it on my own. And it was very amazing for me to do. And I'm very proud of myself. So it was very easy. And I'm just going to do it one more time for you guys. And I'm going to pull it through. And I just start cutting to make it look very nice and look very natural at the same time. And I'm just going to add some more. And I'm just putting it through. And I do like it a lot. And it was very easy. Closing that lash and then pull it through. And this is the final results. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more beauty tutorials and hacks. If you want to see more, please get this video up to 100 views. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.